हेलो एवरीवन वी आर ग्रुप नाइन डिवीजन के वीआईटी टुडे विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फ्लिंस क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू फ्लिंस क्लासिफिकेशन लेट अस गेट टू नो व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पैरेलल कंप्यूटिंग पैरेलल कंप्यूटिंग सिंपली मींस यूजिंग मल्टीपल प्रोसेसर्स टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम इन पैरेलल कंप्यूटिंग द टास्क व्हिच टेक लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड अ मच बिगर कैन बी सॉल्वड इन अ वेरी क्विक मैनर In parallel computing jobs are broken down into different steps which can be executed side by side just like multitasking and based on this concept of parallel computing flins classification was introduced in flins classification there are two parts instruction streams and data streams instruction streams are basically the sequence of instructions which are provided to the cpu and data streams are basically the inputs or the data which is given to the cpu to perform some operations Based on number of instructions and the data flow, computing systems are divided into four main categories, namely SISD, MISD, MIMD, and SIMD. So, among above four instructions, I'll be explaining single input, single data stream, that is SISD. SISD is based on volumen architecture, which simply means that it takes the data from a single memory address from the memory and performs certain instructions with keeping in mind only single data at a time. In this type of architecture, pipelining can also be performed, which means that execution of multiple instructions at a single time. But while doing so, we have to keep in mind that it can execute only one instruction at a time while putting the other instructions to hold. In this, instructions are executed sequentially, and the system may or may not have the internal parallel processing capabilities. Now, let's move on to the data flow in SISD architecture. Instructions are decoded by the control unit, and further, control unit sends these instructions to the processing unit for its execution. Data stream flows between the memories and the processors bidirectionally. In this diagram, CU stands for control unit, PE stands for processing elements, and M stands for memory. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Limbore, Division K, Roll Number Forty Eight, and based on about the advantages, disadvantages, and uses of SISD. First, advantages of SISD. As a single instruction, single data system, it is very cheap because they are quite simple and easy to use. And because we have only a single process working, it consumes low power. Disadvantages of SISD. Single only one instruction is executed. at a time so it is a very slow process with the surface sd they are mainly used for microcontrollers where limited memory is required they were used in older mainframes of 16 and 70s time hello everyone my name is mustafa limadiawala and i'm from dingjian and my roll number is 49 and i will be explaining about nars as i am the so what is as i am the and what it's perform made for from this single instruction multiple data and sim system is a multi processor machine which is capable of executing same instruction on all the cpu but its operating system well uh, are different machine based on sd model are well suited of doing a uh, uh, scientific computing since they have involved vector mesterization operation so that information can be passed to the processing element Organized data element of the vector can be divided into multiple set, and each processing can be processed on one data. Uh, example of SIMD is it is used in the uh, 3D graphics and audio video processing in multimedia application. Thank you. Hi guys, myself Ivan Thomas. I'm role number 47, and now I'll explain you about what is MISD. So basically, MISD is multiple instruction. single data stream so according to the figure given below there is a shared memory divided into memory module and there are one to one processors in MISD all processor unit have an individual control unit so the instructions are fetched by the shared memory and multiple instructions are given to the processor unit the structure of MISD is a theoretical interest since no practical system has been constructed using this organization in this multiple processing units operate on one single data stream each processing unit operates the data independently via separate instruction stream hello everyone i am shefali
I'm going to explain you what is MIMD architecture. So MIMD stands for multiple instruction, multiple data streams. It includes parallel architecture made of multiple processors and multiple memory modules linked via interconnection network. In this, multiple data undergoes multiple instructions at the same time. That is, multiple instructions are acted on multiple data where instructions are given by the user and the data is fetched from the data pool. Uh, and that's why it is one of the most fast-growing field nowadays. Thank you.